This is one of my favorite data hygiene cleanup automations that you can create. We'll just create it real quick here. So we're going to look for candidates that have an active status but aren't really active in your system. So we'll make a standard automation. The list, we're going to want to make sure that's always updated. And you can do this with whatever kind of statuses you have in your business. I'll just show you what this looks like. So here we're going to look for candidate status is active. So most most times uh, clients will have something like active or available. Those probably are the, the two most common uh, used ones, but you might have customized it, but that's fine. And then we're also going to add some and conditions here that indicate the candidate hasn't had certain activity. So the first one we're going to look at is submission. So this is going to find all of the active and available candidates that haven't had a submission in the past 12 months. And we're also going to throw in a note condition as well. So in my estimation, if someone has an active or an available status, they haven't had a submission in a year, they haven't had a note in a year, they're really not active or available. Again, you can customize these criteria. You can add in some, some uh, different ones that you want to. One of the things that I commonly see is if you do have specific note types that track a kind of engagement or activity. So like this is a good example, like outbound inbound call. It can be, it can be great to, instead of saying doesn't have note whatsoever, you could say note type is not um, you know, inbound call screened kind of whatever those calls that uh, note actions that indicate that there's been engagement and then you can do kind of the same criteria here. So that's how you would do that. But we'll just go kind of for this kind of generic issue here. So we'll save our list. We'll save it here. And then this automation step that we're gonna create this is an update candidate step. We're gonna set a field value. We're gonna choose the candidate status and we're gonna, we're gonna change this person from active or available back to inactive. You could go to, to new lead, you know, kind of whatever you want to bucket, you want to uh, group those people into, you would just select that here. Then we'll just end our automation so that people can, can uh, kind of go through it. And then the last step that we'll want to do, we don't have to worry about the send window since nothing's getting sent outbound. It's just a database step. We will allow candidates to re-enter the automation and we could just put this 180 days or something of the sort so that if someone falls into this uh, list criteria again in the future uh, the automation would trigger uh, and allow their status to get updated accordingly